selling sizzle. You're selling something that's unique and that's different and that is not as old hat as the internet. Eventually it will be and it will be totally integrated into everything we do. Text messaging is going to be something that is taken for granted. It's school kids will grow up on it and you know parents will have been doing it when they were children. But um, right now it's still got that unique sizzle. Uh, this year um, we had two records um, and I can say mobile marketing, hip cricket makes a big difference between uh, making a budget and not making a budget. Uh, in May, we had our biggest uh, May ever. And in August, uh, we were number one in the market for revenues. We are always trying to be on the cutting edge for our young adult, those individuals that are very techn technologically savvy. We try and make sure that we are at the cusp of where they are and then just go a little bit further. This texting opportunity has afforded us to a, a point of about 55,000 unique cellular phone numbers um, and those individuals translate to about 12,000 people that are opted in that we can market to on a regular basis. But you know a lot of times you hear the whole well my traffic was up but I'm not sure if it was radio or something else. Um, I walk into those people now and I'm like bring it because we'll show you results because people will um, we can do promotions within sales where we can share them Look, so many people heard your message, this many people responded, uh, you're immediately doubling your frequency with these, with these consumers who are harder to reach. Um, and they walk in and they say, hey, I heard this, and there's no question about, well, did that person come from that station? I'm not sure. Um, because it is so, it, it, it's just, it's so unique and so one-to-one, -one, and it's, it's really a willing to be a part of it. Is radio spots that have always had phone numbers and URL addresses and four million other and addresses and all this information in them, which I'm sure tr your traffic departments or your continuity departments get 70 calls a day. I didn't get that phone number on that ad from, don't use it anymore. Sell it to your clients. Sh sell your short code to the client. And say, for more information about, you know, ABC carpet, text we have a great short code, 45911, um, right now uh, for all the locations. It, it's, it's an information thing. Tell your clients they have more time to talk about themselves and less time to talk about their six addresses. This program, we have gone out there and developed so much new business that we're up double digits, and, and I'm not joking. And it's not because, you know, we had a ratings kiss somewhere. I mean, we're lucky to have very good ratings, but it wasn't like something went totally crazy and we just got to ride the gravy train, it's because I had people out there, um, we had 44 new accounts on in the first half of the year, um, actually through May, and that's amazing, like brand new accounts that are investing in the station and getting great results from radio, and what happens is the whole marketing community, they all talk, right, so they hear, oh, well, so-and-so is working with KISS FM in Cleveland and they're getting a great response. And so they talk to their friends, and we get call-ins. Like, imagine that, you know? And <laughs> it's, it's really, really exciting, and it's just because we can show attainable results. Our clients are looking for ROI, and if you can show ROI, um, you're in business. The reason why we chose Hip Cricket, and that was because of the assistance that they give you. And I've been doing this for a really long time, and sometimes you get really stale. and. I don't have to think about everything. We literally can send a, a, a needs sheet to our a client rep, and within 48 hours, we have a bunch of great ideas back, and we might have to tweak them or customize them a little bit, but oh my gosh, that's such a relief to me <laughs> that I'm not have the pressure is not on me and my immediate staff to always come up with the next great idea. Um, because as we all know, next great ideas really help you sell radio. Advertisers want results. That's really what this is all about. It's funny because we're here at a convention where it's talking about radio reinventing itself. And this technology, I'm so passionate about it because it allows your radio station, whether it's a sales front or a programming front, to reinvent and engage itself. And it's just, it's really exciting to be a part of it.